Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been over a year since I've posted last, but I'm super excited about the next couple of videos that I have uh, ready for you. I know that my camera's gotten better, but my sound has gotten worse. I can't afford a microphone right now, so when I can, I will get that and I will have a better sound quality. But in, for now, enjoy my face clearer than it was when I shot off my phone. So, today I'm celebrating the dollar store opening. Um, it opened down the street for me, and if you don't have a lot of money, or you do have a lot of money, and you're just looking to make a deal, the dollar store is for you. Now, I'm doing a little bit of a different dollar store haul today. Today, I'll be doing what I think you should be getting at the dollar store, opposed to in other places. Will I have the real prices of the other places? Hell no. This is not that kind of channel. I am not Nikki Tutorial. Anyways, without further ado, let's get to it. So, I think my first thing is going to be... Have you ever gone on vacation and just been too busy to bring anything back? Have you come home and thought, man, I wish I had that souvenir? Well, look no further because the dollar store has these cute little shell things. I don't know if you can see it. My camera doesn't automatically focus. So just take my word for it. Inside this little jar are all these little shells. Now, I don't know where these shells come from. I don't know who makes them. Maybe Mother Nature. I doubt it, though. But for $1.50, you can get this cute jar, this little cork, and tell everyone you had an amazing time at St. Bart's. You can get someone to write St. Bart's on it, and that may even cost you $1.50 as well. So if you're on vacation and you don't want to bring shit back from your family, this is your ticket. Ta-da! Alright, what's next? Oh, I know! Are you like me? Do you want people to think that you are smarter than you actually are? Then look no further than the wooden puzzle. These wooden puzzles are so fun. And when I go to someone's house and I see them, I'm always thinking to myself, damn. Uh, okay, we're just <laughs> dollar store, right? This thing is like so trippy. It's got all kinds of little, it's not a focusing camera. So it has all these little pegs and you have to take out one peg and find the next peg that it takes out. I'm not going to do it because this is only to make me look smarter. So if you want to look smarter in front of all of your friends, this is your ticket. They have so many different kinds. They cost $1.50. Come on, guys. This is the real fun thing. Now, I don't know if I'm ever going to figure it out. And the last time I did this, I ripped one up on my friend's couch. But it looks like a lot of fun. So that's the ticket. You want to get one of these, put them on your desk. Put them in your shelf, bring them to school, make everyone think that you are smarter than you are. And if you're smarter than everyone thinks you are, then look pretentious. Moving on. All right. The next... Oh, guys, I did this. My hair is killing me today, but I didn't want to wear a hat, so here we go. The next thing I'm going to do is this paint roller. We've all seen these before. They're nice. They've got this padded little thing on the end. Handle's not that bad, but what you really want to do with this is you, uh, it's like a back massager. Now, I have a partner who loves getting his back massage, but I don't have the time for it, or the money to buy any of those expensive back rubbers. Look no further, because we have this nice foam roller. Imagine, sitting on the beach, all hot and sweaty, no problem. Take one of these out. Oh yeah, dry that shit up. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, just drying it up. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think this is a golden opportunity. And for a dollar, hell, if you want to paint your walls, go ahead. But if not, got the perfect opportunity. I'm having so much fun. Are you having fun? This isn't going to be the longest video, but I, I know we're having fun. We're having, see how, like... Look at this. That's embarrassing. So every time I turn my head, I'm going to be like, her. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. So, the next thing I want to do is Wet n Wild Black Lipstick. This is color C32. Now, I know I don't look like I wear lipstick, but sometimes, who knows? It's Halloween. Maybe I want to put some on. But more importantly... No, 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 no. This is for the athletes out there. This is for the war-torn heroes of our life. All you want to do is you want to go, ah, ah, and now I'm protected from the sun. Like, come on, Dollar Store Wet n Wild. 
give me a little bit of this. Now, an easy thing to do would be to take your little dollar store wet wipes. Hi, thank you. And you go, okay, you know what? Maybe the dollar store wipes are not as great, but as you can see, now I'm good. You know what another thing might be good? Is if you're ever at war. If you have to run into a battlefield and you want to make your opponent seem a little bit more, I don't know, intimidated, you put on this wet wild and you get it done. Anyways, we gonna move on. Did you enjoy that one? Because I sure as hell did. What's next? Oh! This reminds me of a time when... Girl, Jesus, hold the wheel! So this reminds me of the time when my good friend, Gally, hi Gally, held a party at his house. Now, I don't know about you, but when I go to a party, there's only one question I ask. Is it a shoes on or is it a shoes off party? Look no further, mothers. Is it a shoe on party or is it a shoes off party? Well, if it's a shoes off party, no, no, no. Shower curtains. You need to go buy yourself some shower caps. Look at all these. There's so many. And they come in different colors. Oh my gosh. I have one, two, three, four, five, seven. There are ten. Okay. I could have just looked on the package. There are ten. So, you may be asking yourself, Brad, what are you going to do with those? Let me show you. Let's take the clear ones, shall we? Now, I'm going to open them. Because, you know what, guys? My, my shoes are a part of my look. So no matter what I'm doing, I need to wear my shoes inside. So that night I was wearing these. These are my favorite clod hoppers, if you will. They are my Gaga Manson boots, and I love them. But they track dirt. So what I like to do is I put them right underneath, and I pretty much tell the host to go themselves. Right? Go fuck yourselves. Hi! So that's all you gotta do. Or, if you're feeling a little adventurous, and you want to be a little cute, maybe show your gender, I don't fucking know. You could do a blue one. It's amazing. Honestly, guys, go to a house party. I mean, I guess these could work on regular shoes. I'm not sure. I only know they work on these ones. Go to that party, you look at the host, and you say, got it covered. These cost a dollar. They come with 10. That's five people that you can help at the party. I want you to go to a party next time with these. I want you to go to five people and say, go get your shoes, bitch. Go get your shoes. All right. I'm having so much fun. We're having a lot of fun. Again, guys, please don't ridicule me for the sound. Bro, if you saw my setup. All right. I got two more things to show you. The next thing I want to show you is for my YouTubers out there. For the people who love making videos but don't have the money to do it. My backdrop. This is a sheer curtain that I hung up in an apparatus that would make anyone laugh. But this is all it was. I heard that when you're making videos, you want to have a clear background so you are in focus. I mean, when I'm in the shot, everyone's just going to be paying attention to me anyway, so I don't even know why I got to do this, but I was told to do this. Backdrop. Clear. I was going to use a blue tarp, but I didn't want to go after Graveyard Girl. That's what she should be using. Anyways, I hope you enjoy that. Now, the last thing I wanted to do is for the girls and all of us, or the little gay boys, who knows who you are, or maybe straight boys like it too, but I'm dying for this. It's a little surprise thing. So this is my, nope, sorry. Ugh, I'm sorry. My camera's not automatically focusing, guys. So this is the My Little Pony surprise thing. And I don't know about you, but I love surprises. So I'm really hoping for the depressed girl because the grumpy, depressed, the, the blue ones, they're always my favorite. So, I mean, this bitch was $2. If I was a child, I am not going to the dollar store and asking for this. I'm asking for something else. But I am an adult, I have my own bank account, and this is what I bought, okay? I love surprise things. You never know what you're going to get. Okay, 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 okay. So I did not get my blue friend. I got... Uh, this girl. Um, her name is Barry Green. Um, okay. This cute little card and this cute little girl. Don't worry, guys. I'll focus it. Thank you so much. I hope you had a great time. Dollar Store, if you ever want to sponsor me, here I am.
whatever, just email me, hit me up. Guys, please hit subscribe. And YouTube does this weird thing now where they don't tell you of uh, notifications from people. So please, hit the bell, ding, and follow me. I hope you have a great time. I'm going to link all my information down below. And for all the stuff that you just saw, guys, I spent $10.66. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Mwah. You've been great. I've been great. So let me know and like this video. Thanks, guys. Bye.